No one can manipulate anyone else. In any relationship, both parties know what they're doing, even if one of them complains later on that they were used. Well, that's what Athena used to say. Which suited her, considering that she used and manipulated me with no apparent consideration for my feelings. A serious accusation, as she was my teacher of sacred mysteries, of magic. She was charged with awakening the unknown force we all possess. We trust blindly in those who guide us, believing that they know more than we do. Well, I can guarantee that they don't. Not Athena, not Edda, nor any of the people I came to know through them. I was conscious of her power. It was so strong I could almost touch it. Athena was conscious of her own charisma and she made all those who loved her suffer, including me. It isn't good to speak ill of people who have passed from this life onto the astral plane. However, Athena won't have to account to me, but to all those forces which she turned to her own benefit, rather than channeling them for the good of humanity or for her own spiritual enlightenment. She couldn't control herself. She thought she was the mistress of truth, capable of overcoming all barriers merely by using her powers of seduction. And the result? I was left alone. And I can't leave the work unfinished. What do you want? I work in the theater and we're putting on a play about the female face of God. I heard from a journalist friend that you spent some time in the Balkan mountains with some gypsies and that you were prepared to tell me about your experience. You mean there. you only want to know about the mother because of a play? Well, why did you learn about her? You're right. My first lesson as a teacher. Teach those that want to learn, the reason doesn't matter. I'm sorry? Nothing. The origins of the theatre are sacred. It began in Greece with him to Dionysus, the god of wine, rebirth and fertility. But it's believed that from very remote times, people would do a ritual in which they pretend to be someone else as a way of communing with the sacred. Second lesson. Thank you. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, I came here to learn, not to teach. My protector. Your protector? I'll explain another time. My protector told me that I would only learn what I needed to learn if I was provoked into it. And since my return from Dubai, you're the first person to demonstrate that to me. Well, in my research, I've gone from one teacher to the next, and I haven't found anyone exceptional. In fact, they all seem a bit uncertain and confused of what they really want. Give me an example on how they're confused. Uh, well, sex, for example. In some of the places I went to, sex is a complete no-no, and in others, they not only advocate sexual freedom, but they encourage orgies. Well, I definitely want to know a little bit more about those places. <laughs> when you dance, do you feel desire? Do you feel as though you're summoning up a greater energy? When you dance, are there moments when you cease to be yourself? If theatre is a ritual, then dance is too. And moreover, it's a, it's a very ancient way of getting closer to a partner. It's as though the threads connecting you with the rest of the universe are washed clean of preconceptions and fears. Dance affords you the luxury of being utterly you. Afterwards, we go back to being who we were before. Frightened people, trying to convince ourselves that we're more important than we actually think we are. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do.
Be different. That's all. Sitting in silence being different. But I imagine at this very moment there are thousands of people in London who are just desperate to talk to someone. And all you can say to me is that silence makes a difference. Well, now that you're thinking and reorganizing the universe, you'll convince yourself that you're right and I'm wrong. But as you've just experienced for yourself, <sighs> being silent is different. But it's unpleasant. It doesn't teach you anything. What theatre are you working at? Uh, the Mask Theatre on West End. Why don't you come and watch rehearsal? Can I bring my boy? Oh, sorry, not really. It's, it's adult only. I'd love to come. What day? Uh, well, what about Tuesday at half six? Good. Don't I owe you anything for your time? See you Tuesday. <laughs>